Uh, I hadn't talked about, I don't know if I've talked about this movie at all, to be completely honest. Um, I've been asked with emails, hey, you going to watch it and review it on your entertainment channel or even your main channel? The answer is no. <laughs> I told y'all, I'm so checked out on Marvel and DC right now. I just don't care. Um, I only exist to make fun of them and compete with them. That's it. Um, not interested. Not fucking interested. But the cultural impact I will not be oblivious to and we will continue to talk about. But I'm not interested in this shit. Um, but The Eternals, which is a movie that you should be excited considering the Jack, great Jack Kirby's work, but it's dead on arrival. All of the characters have been basically tokenized. More than half of them um, are the wrong race, wrong gender. Fucking Selma Hayek plays Ajax. Makes no fucking sense. Uh, best person for the job? No. Kevin Feige's confirmed that they, specifically the reason why they used the Eternals was for, for tokenization reasons. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Um, But despite all of this, the critics, who nobody gives a motherfucker about other than the critics themselves, the critics have who who do this, you know, for the access, right? Somehow they've even rated, and as of today, the rating, and I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this live right now because this went down since I've last seen it. But the the critic rating for the Eternals. Is that 50%? Therefore, certified ride. I'm not sure what the fuck just happened there. Uh, certified ride. And uh, by the critics, and the audience scores at 86%. So the people that they made this fucking movie for, these fucking goofballs, who really co sign everything it is, don't even like the shit. And again, critics are dumbasses. I'll be the first to admit that. But you want to know why this movie exists. Big shout out to a good friend of mine. Y'all know him. Gary from Nerd Rock. He, he, he covered this and how much they talk about this and their promotion. This is what the movie was made for. This is all. This is the main primary focus, not the Eternals. <laughs> That's not the focus at all. My man's Gary from Nerd Rock. Watch this real quick and him documenting all of this shit that basically they kept talking about in promotion for this movie. And it really kind of sums up what, what they gave a fuck about. Uh, let's listen in. The diversity of, of such a diverse team. Diverse, different, 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 different diversity. You're a woman of color as well. Representation. For so long, we've seen superheroes that have looked like a small percentage of the world different. We have a lot of representation. Diverse. Everybody looks different. Everybody sounds different. A lot of people are going to see themselves as superheroes for the first time. Diversity and the inclusion. Different, different way. Diverse, diverse, diverse. But it doesn't feel tokenistic. Nerdorotic.com. <laughs> That was the part that got me. It doesn't feel tokenist. <laughs> Motherfucker, the only reason your movie exists is for tokenistic reasons. Hell, for what you talking about? The hell you talking about? It's basically tokenism the movie. That, that's what Eternals is. That's what they've marketed as. It's indicative in all these fucking unnecessary fucking changes of these characters. It's tokenism, the movie. That's what Eternals is. That's the subtitle, if you will. That's that's what it is. Now you know I'm right. You can be mad at me. Oh man, you got damn toxic, uh, man, baby incels. Like uh, your word, you have no power. You <laughs> you have no power here. You have none. Not interested. But despite all of that diversity and representation and inclusion and all the buzz terms that they used, because God forbid some kid just uh, like or in person, because they didn't even specify simply kids. They were just talking about a lot of people are going to see themselves for the first time, because the only way that that the only way that you can actually uh, uh, see yourself. Which basically means relate to. A character is if you're the same color or gender or sexuality as them. 
Which is insulting, by the way, but these are fucking retards, so who cares? And the people, despite all of that, critics don't even fucking like it. I find that to be hilarious. Now, look, I've told y'all. I'm not of the opinion that this movie is going to do bad box office wise. We did see that it got banned in pockets of the Middle East because of uh, some homosexual homosexuality uh but i don't i i, I highly doubt it's marvel um this, the, the 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 people that watch marvel movies religiously are a bunch of se- er, er, a bunch of fucking seals it doesn't matter they put it on screen they'll say it's the best goddamn thing in the fucking world and everybody i believe uh there's a character who i've talked about in my who is Thanos series that makes a uh cameo appearance uh, at the end and in the, the end credits, still not fucking interested, but everybody's going to become an expert on this character and look so forward to what's going to happen in the future as they sit there and make movies about characters. that don't look act have any in, in terms of their relationship with each other themselves or anything, uh, in regards to the comic book counterparts. So they ain't writing these movies for me. They writing these movies for people that don't crack and like tokenism and, uh, need to, give themselves some sort of sense of importance, which is all actors and actresses do give themselves some sense of importance by saying, Oh, look at us. We're being diverse and representative and, and uh, these people. And look at me, I'm so important. And because I'm impactful in the role it is that I'm playing when well, your bitch ass took a role, you took a tokenized role. The only reason you fill in that motherfucking role is because the Marvel executives wanted your bitch ass to be there for the sake of checking a box. You ought to be insulted, but you're too much of a sucker to even concede that. So you cope by saying, well, oh, look at me. I'm important. It's about diversity and inclusion and differences and dumb shit. People don't need to fucking be the same color as Batman or like Bruce Wayne. Y'all are the only people. And unfortunately, a lot of y'all raise children that way. And we know that children don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Racism and their approach to it is a learned trait. Who cares? Not interested. So for all of you guys who ask me, hey, you're going to be reviewing this. And I'm interested to see your thoughts. No, I told y'all my primary focus right now is my own comic book universe, which we hope to have announced um, uh, going at the end of the next month in December. So you guys can put your pre-orders in. We put out book number one. I'm interested in building that and competing with these fucking dickheads. That's what I'm interested in doing. What I'm not interested in doing is going to watch a movie about characters who are fucking unrecognizable. They are only the characters in name. They don't give a shit about source material or anything like that. Why the fuck would I watch this? Oh, it's a different universe. It's a different universe. I have no interest to watch that. I know it's goofball shit. I know it's just a form of activism um, for these actors and actresses. There's no soul in this. It's about box. I don't care about that. I'd rather put my time and effort into competing with these guys. There was a time in my life where I did all that, you know, but then it just got so bad. I canceled my fucking pool list and I'm like, you know what? Somebody's got to do it. American Mark is getting his ass kicked by manga, but it's not because people don't want American uh, uh, style comic books. No, it's not what it is. It's because the main two basically have a uh, uh, corner at the market and people unfortunately think they're the only guys that exist and 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 they've they have precedent because the character's been decades old and a lot of y'all grew up on them, so you nostalgia bait them every time and they come back. But they ain't buying books. But they are looking for an alternative. So I'm trying to give them an alternative. And my time and effort, that's where it's going. It ain't gonna be in fucking covering shit for these fucking weirdos. I, I'm just not interested. I'm sorry. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Canon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.